Welcome to the ICEJ Report. I'm Jürgen Bühler, the Executive Director of the International Christian Embassy Jerusalem. As a ministry, we exist to connect the global church, but also Christians just like you, with what God is doing here in the land of Israel. Here is a glimpse of the amazing things we could do through partners just like you here in the land. One part of our mission is to educate the global church about Israel for them to have a greater understanding of what God is doing here. We do this by speaking appearances, events, media outlets. And one of the things we do here in Israel is the annual Envision Pastors and Leaders Conference. This is for the purpose to give them a bird's eye view of what God is doing in Israel. They have the opportunity to hear briefings from the Knesset members, and they also have a possibility to pay a visit to the Yad Vashem, the Holocaust Museum and Educational Center. Here at the Christian Embassy, we desire to share the truth of what God is doing in Israel with the world. One of the ways we do this is through our various media initiatives. We have a daily news service where reports go out by email, and we also put the news on our website, icej.org. We have a weekly TV program airing on God TV entitled Word from Jerusalem. Viewers can hear biblical teachings and insights from the land of Israel. Our monthly magazine is also called Word from Jerusalem, and it gives an update on current events, upcoming ICJ projects, and it offers a number of Bible teachings about Israel. Part of the mission of the ICJ is to promote Christian celebration both here in Israel and around the world. And one of the ways that we have done that historically and we continue to do today is through the celebration of the Feast of Tabernacles. And one of the amazing things to me is to see the nations as they're coming in, the excitement and the energy as they're waving their flags, they're anticipating, you know, coming together as we worship the Lord together. It's just an excitement that I, I can't express. You just have to experience. It's a wonderful, wonderful evening. We came here to celebrate the feast, to bless Israel, to fulfill the prophecy that all the nations will come and celebrate to, to the Lord in His holy mount. We just want to support the people of Israel, um, especially because there's not many people around the world supporting them. So this is kind of our way um, as Christians being a blessing to them and just doing what God wants us to do. Part of our mission is to mobilize the worldwide body of Christ. We raise prayer all across this planet Earth on behalf of Israel and the region. We influence the global leadership in the nations to fight anti-Semitism in their countries. And we can do this because we have national representatives in more than 80 different nations. We have prayer partners in 89 different nations. And we are connected with 150 different countries of our world. Over the past decades, Israel has suffered ongoing attack and is constantly under threat. In tough times, we're here on the ground offering life-saving bomb shelters for vulnerable communities and providing essential aid, such as protective vests for first responders defending against terrorism. About five years ago, we started to partner with an Israeli organization in order to provide a caring home for aging Holocaust survivors. You know, in Israel we have about 180,000 still left who are alive. And they're in their 80s and their 90s. And one third is living in poverty and is very lonely. And this beautiful assisted living facility is actually a place where they feel cared for. It's a family environment. They're with people that have gone through the same things that they've gone through. And there is a most wonderful staff who takes care of them in a very loving way. If you hadn't had a chance to partner with us, I would like to ask you to prayerfully consider to send us a financial gift and partner with our ministry. Go to our website icej.org, click on the donate button and make your gift today. And remember, we are your embassy here in Jerusalem and may the Lord bless you richly out of Zion.